eyes on the SUV machines is a going on for several years. It is only recently we're seeing the actual picture going to light. In the US, 2017 sales of SUVs and trucks were up over 350,000 and 100,000 respectively, but sales of sedans were down around 500,000. The future for SUV certainly looks bright and then there seems to be no moving back. I had that under consideration, as I viewed the shiny black 2018 Mercedes AMG GLC 63S Coupe patiently expecting me outside our Nashville, TN Hotel. I was on the verge of embark on a route made to end last my home capital of Scotland Bowling Green, Key. Mercedes hadn't allocated a driving partner to me, which I didn't take personally since they said I was the odd one out and zipped to do with my racing resume scaring the straights so to speak. Truth be known. I drive like grandma most on the time at work these days and revel in nerding from seeing Rao World MPG numbers. I employ a weird taste in road vehicles. According to my editor and the majority other rational thinking people. I don't argue the, I just tolerate the affliction. As if to generate their case, I always liked the Pontiac Aztec. I honestly thought it was an incredible vehicle rolling around in its day. In fact, in 2001, I was actually considering if they should buy the Aztec or maybe a Mercedes ML55. What choice you sneer? Have you seen that Aztec picnic table positive in the back? It's just mega. At the potential risk of being excommunicated by my long suffering friends and during a hard to find moment of clarity, I bought the ML55. At the time, the ML55 was the easiest accelerating SUV within the streets which has a 6.2 second 060 miles per hour sometime to a hefty 342 horsepower. I parted while using ML55 after of a year. I thought right at that moment we would probably see increasingly more performance SUV such as ML, providing the buyers have there been. Cue the GLS 63S Coupe. I sat outside of the hotel around 15 minutes and adjusted everything before triggering. I'm not only a fan utilizing infotainment systems while driving, whether by voice or hand, but I know I need to take them into consideration. So I do, initially while parked. That usually gives me advisable what I'm comfortable working with while for the move. The GLC 63S Coupe incorporates a base MSRP of $81,745 as tested, $97,330. I think the Coupe features a stocky muscular look, with purpose and several bad intent. It has the grunty back it up, too, it's handcrafted 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 kicking out 503 horsepower at 5, 5006, 250 and 516 lbft at 1, 7504, 500. Mercedes claims a 3.7-second 060 miles per hour time with the GLC 63S Coupe. I say that's conservative, specifically when using the race start launch feature. Having recently tested the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, I'm thinking this Merc will be nipping its heels in the drag race. We are dealing with sub 4 seconds 0 to 60 times. Seeing these numbers in a very family hauler somehow seems for making the world feel right. There are a few options when starting drivability to the GLC. The sound from the sport exhaust must have $1,250 option. Carries a nice racy grumble from the sport plus driving mode. Off throttle the GLC pops just such as the heroically antisocial AMG GTR. These days some manufacturers pipe in many sound for the occupant cabin to improve the exhaust note and I've watched plenty of negative comments over it. 
I don't cherish the enhancement when it sounds good, plus the GLC sounds good. The difference between comfort, sport, and sport plus plus driving modes may be felt in transmission shift speeds, steering weight feel and ride stiffness. Don't worry, none on the sporty modes knock your fillings out. I used comfort and sport mode most in the time around the road to get more suspension compliance, the way it gives me an even better feel for that chassis. I suspect sporting minded owners will forever have Sport Plus programmed inside their individual driver settings. There is a particular option I came across that requires a mention. It's called Collision Prevention Assist Plus. It's um, how shall I say this, rather needing to get involved. Kind of like that friend that's always watchy to regulate a situation that doesn't actually exist. It is a safety unit and is there that can help drivers. It applies braking in the event it thinks braking is required. The assist and I accepted disagree and I switched it well. Most people is likely to never notice it until that they need it. The AMG Speedshift MCT Multi-Clutch Transmission 9 Speed Automatic is superb. Changing to Sport Plus mode provides lightning fast shifts with accompanying little pops around the upshifts. It trips shifts you wish some current GT race cars. Mercedes also fits the GLC 63S while using AMG Performance 4 Matic Plus drivetrain. This updated system can adjust itself to relocate torque to be able to drive wheels, depending within the situation. It used to be very rear biased, but on these models is upgraded to totally variable and may go from all front drive to all or any rear drive and anything involving, enabling optimum traction in most driving conditions. I could feel it spending so much time in spirited driving, mainly because it tried to see why I was while using the rear tires to show the car instead on the front tires. AMG has certainly been busy developing and refining. The dynamic engine mounts plus the air body control work effectively together, giving a far more compliant feel and comfort mode and firming things up for performance driving. These two items of technology add nicely for the Jekyll and Hyde personality in the GLC 63. If it has the aroma of leather and appearance like leather it must be leather right? You never know currently as manufacturers get greater at faking us out with interior fabrics. That is not the case with all the GLC. The interior was indeed real leather, harmful for look at, providing an extremely comfortable driving office. I'm planning to also credit the air balance cabin filtration and fragrance system to the olfactory feast. I'm thinking I could have experienced a box of wet badgers in a corner seat yet still been smelling the roses. The steering was very direct. Wherever I pointed the GLC, it had been happy to go. There was certainly more body roll and comfort mode than sport, but a maximum of I expected. Also, the nannies were on full alert in comfort mode particularly if I started getting quick with staring inputs, which again, is to be expected. If you will want spirited drive place the GLC in Sport Plus mode. The feel is quite sporty and connected, yet it's still an SUV. SUVs have a very higher center of gravity compared to a sedan in most cases way more. The heaviest super quick street cars appear in around 3,800 pounds, having a Porsche 911 GTS down near to 3,100 pounds, the GLC 63S Coupe is 4,511 pounds. Even even though it is a bit unrealistic for anybody to expect serious race car handling inside an SUV, the people at Mercedes have inked a great job in giving the GLC a solid fancy car feel. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires certainly with a few excellent grip and feel, pulling almost 1 gram and cornering front, 
26540ZR21, rear, 29535ZR21. Big power can come using a price where gas mileage but I suspect most GLC 63 buyers don't have a look at this. Fuel economy is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway, and 18 miles per gallon combined. On 170 mile 25% city 75% highway trip, I got 23.2 miles per gallon, that has been not too bad. Way back when, I used to take a look at SUVs as totally boring. I bought the ML55 in 2001 because that it was not boring. I would probably have a look at buying a minivan today if they place the 503 horsepower GLC 63S engine inside. There are a large number of reasons why people say they are buying SUVs. They're practical much easier to get the kids inside and out, better visibility, they think safer, etc. All those reasons sign up for minivans plus the Honda Civic Type R has nearly exactly the same amount of storage room because the GLC Coupe. But, logic be damned, SUV sales are rocketing upward. As a motorhead, I love the fact an increasing number of performance SUVs are coming over to market. The new GLC 63S Coupe is a superb vehicle, giving a sporty driving experience in a very high-powered and practical package. I'm still thinking the genesis of GLC 63 got their start in a Mercedes internal memo directing their engineers to come up using a way for fogies to always obtain the kids to high school on time. The GLC certainly fills the troll. Keep the memos coming. Mercedes 2018 Mercedes AMG GLC 63 S Coupe Specifications Price $81,745.97,330 Baz Tested Engine 4.0 liters twin turbo 32 valve V8503 HP at 5,5006 250 revolutions per minute, 516 lbft at 1, 7404, 500 revolutions per minute. Transmission 9 speed automatic. Layout 4 door, 5 passenger, front engine, AWD SUV. EPA mileage. 1622 miles per gallon city hui LXWXH 186.8 by 76.0 by 62.4 inches wheelbase 113.1 out of weight 4511 pounds 060 miles per hour 3.7 seconds Top speed 174 miles per hour.